Hey everybody, Pumpkin here. So yesterday I put up a Ethnade deck that was based around traps and control oriented. It, it was okay. Um, I, I kind of liked it because the traps are fun and they can allow you to create some fun combinations and you can outmaneuver your opponent. Um, the problem with it at that time, yesterday or two days ago, in terms of the faction challenge, it wasn't getting the job done. Um, the faction challenge for Squiatel is play units that boost or play artifacts. There's not a lot of artifacts in that deck. There's probably like five and you would play maybe four of them or three of them. So it was just taking forever. So on stream today, I decided, well, I'm going to make a new deck. Um, I'm just going to throw every single elf into a deck that has the word boost on it. And yeah, I did that. And it turns out, well, it was actually really good. I was blown away at how good it was. Um, I had tried this deck in the past and it was pretty bad but one card difference makes well all the difference uh this card right here scorch um if you've known me for a while you know that i love scorch the problem with scorch is a little expensive and sometimes hard to pull off but with ethne that's not really an issue anymore so what's also really nice about this deck is it thins really really well uh not not to the extent that sk does it doesn't thin to zero because Squiatel and no faction has cards that allow you to do that, but it thins pretty close. You can get down to five or four cards. Uh, four if um, you're if you use Call of the Forest on Aileron. Uh So otherwise, it's five. So you almost always find all your cards. Uh, two win cons for this deck: Scorch, um, obviously, is a very strong card against monsters and most other decks. Uh, this deck plays pretty low to the ground. A lot of your cards are on the low side, besides Vanguards. Um, so generally in round three, you're going to find these nice scorches on fives or maybe fours, sometimes sixes or against monsters, you hit like tens, twelves, whatever. So very, very strong card. Your other win con of course is Shiru. Um, the way you get Shiru buffed, normally you would do it with Bruver. We don't play Bruver in this deck because we need the Ethne. We need the extra provisions and we need for like Scorch and we need the pings for Scorch. Uh, so we play Ithlin and Call of the Forest, um, once again, the deck thins down to five, so you're always finding these cards. I almost always play Ethan onto Shiru and use Call for something else. Um, but worst case scenario, you don't find Shiru, you can always call it. Elrin's really strong in any kind of elf deck. I, I forgot to mention, it's an elf deck, obviously, hence the name of the title. Every card in this deck is an elf other than Scorch, Witchers, and Call. Every other card is a elf. Uh, and that's very important um, for Isengrim. Isengrim... I have talked about this card a lot on stream. I hated this card. Called it garbage all the time. And the reality is it is pretty bad. Unless you're playing a deck that's like 95% off. Um, if you're playing enough elves, this card is good. So typically in Scoia'tael, they have trouble in round one unless you're playing Vanguards. When you play Vanguards, all of a sudden you can win round one. Well, you can win the beginning, right? So you're playing like a nine or 10 point Vanguard and then you're playing another one if you got lucky and drew both. Uh, from there, you're playing like, I don't know, a four point elf and then Neophytes and you get Aileron now, bam, three five points. Uh, you can follow this up with Witchers into Roach, which is a 12 point play. You're, you're basically playing a lot of tempo every turn. Um, but after like the first five, six cards, um, your points start to slow down. You're playing like another four point elf or like a five point archer and it's pretty bad. Isengrim, fixes that. Isengrim allows you to push to like one card or zero cards in round one, which a lot of the times is what you need to do um, because you really, really do need last say with this deck because you your finisher is Scorch or Shiru. And both of those two cards you need last say. If you don't have last say, you're probably not winning that game. Not necessarily, you, you can still win, but your chances are much higher of winning. So yeah, especially if I lose coin flip, I, I, I'm pushing, I'm going all the way. So Isengrim allows you to do that. And yeah, Isengrim's only good if you draw him in round one, but you have Call of the Forest for that too. So you either have to draw him by himself or you need to draw Call of the Forest. If you draw neither, it's going to be a little harder to push round one. Sometimes I play Sheer in round one. Uh, sometimes I play Scorch in round one. So really you just need one of those four cards. You either need Scorch, you need Shiru, you need Call of the Forest, or you need Isengrim to help you push round one. Because all four of those cards uh, output a lot of points. So... For the most part, I win most round ones. Yeah. Um, I'll keep going through the deck. Malayan, very strong elf. Good removal. Roach, uh, extra thinning, and good tempo on your witchers. 
no reason not to play this card. Siren, uh, you could drop this card if you want. If you wanted to, you could play... Teruvial won't fit. If you really wanted to play Teruvial, you could. You would drop Siren for Teruvial. Uh, you bring an officer down to like a sapper. That's actually not even that bad of an idea. I might actually do that. Because it can allow you to potentially set up Shirus. Hmm. That actually might be worth it, now that I think of it. Yeah, as I said, I threw this deck together really quickly on stream, and it just won like five or six games in a row, and I was blown away, so I didn't really touch it. But now that I'm thinking about it, Siren's not great right now in this meta. Um, it'll be better if people start playing Ice more with like Serez. Uh, that's a card that you really, really need to lock. But other than like that one card, there aren't any cards that you like must lock. Um, so yeah, I guess I would drop Siren for Teruvial, and then a Officer... I guess we'll do this uh, during the actual video. Why not? It can't hurt, right? Uh, so we'll run to reveal. We'll run the sapper. It can't hurt to have a sapper. Every now and then, SK has um, a spear. So yeah, if you don't like to reveal, play Siren, whatever. If you don't like either of those, you can play Ida. Um, Ida's fine. You can play. I wouldn't suggest Milva. Milva brings your Vanguard value down, and Milva is not that great in a short round. Um, and you can also play, if I can find him, Yaven. I'm not a huge fan of Yaven, but uh, yeah, you can play him if you want. So, yeah, play Teruvio, play Siren, play Ida. Up to you. You choose. It's fine. I'm not a huge fan of Ida just because boosting a unit uh, can mess up your Scorch, so I I'd like to stay away from that. But you're more than welcome to play Ida if you'd like. Uh, that, that, that slot is kind of flex. You do whatever you want with it. So, Teruvio. I mean, maybe Teruvio is garbage. I, I need to honestly play or more. I don't know. Anyway, sorry. Uh, Witcher is very good for thinning. Uh, nice early proactive tempo play. It's good cards. Officers. It's an elf. It boosts. It goes off the um, what's it called? The uh, faction challenge quest. So, I mean, you can do it for that. Uh, yeah, it, it's a decent card. NR is not as popular, so the value of this card has gone down a little bit. But it, nonetheless, it's still a pretty good card. Sappers are good against uh, SK. Archers are good to line up um, Shiru, kill Drowners, kill Knackers. Good card all around. Vanguards, this is like your bread and butter early game. Uh, it's like an 8 to 10 point card immediately in round 1, which is a lot. Uh, do play them on opposite rows, uh, ranged in melee. If you do get both in your opening hand, you don't really want to play into Erden on both. That kind of sucks. Dragoon, phenomenal card. Haka Healer, it's good. It boosts, so it counts for faction challenge. Um, you can heal cards, which almost never happens, but I don't know. Let's say they do four damage to Elrin. You can heal it. That's pretty cool. Uh, Neophytes, Neophytes are really good. They help you get out Elrin a little faster, and they are an extra body for Isengrim. BME, this is up to you. Um, I've been running one BME. It never bricks, usually. This one's up to you. Um, if you don't want the BME, you can play a Swordmaster. So, right off the bat, it might be weird. Why am I not playing a Swordmaster? It's an elf card. You would think you would play this in an elf deck, right? The problem is right now, every time I play a Swordmaster, it dies. Like 90 plus percent of the time, it just dies and it's frustrating. So, in other decks, I wouldn't mind it because it's like bait for engines. So, I would be playing like a Swordmaster and an Elven Scout. Uh, they kill the Swordmaster, but then they can't kill the Elven Scout. But because it's my only engine in the deck, I'm not going to count Isengrim. Because Isengrim's not really an engine. That's like your, your finisher to like seal the deal on the round. Um, Swordmaster, it's the only engine. So whenever I play it, it just immediately gets locked or it gets uh, removed with like an Ifrit or something. And it just feels really bad. I'd rather play a 4 than a card that gets 3 value. Like, it's just not worth it to me. The only matchups where Swordmasters actually don't die are monsters, and even then they have um, Drowners. And if you don't have your Dragoons, well, then your Swordmasters did, in fact, die. So, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Swordmasters in this current meta just because they never live. But uh, you're more than welcome to run the card if you don't like BME. If you're finding BME, BME bricks too often, uh, feel free to swap it. That's up to you. Um... So yeah, it's a fun deck. Do remember Isengrim is kind of your finisher for round one. You can go pretty hard. Isengrim gets like anywhere between 10 and 12 value towards the end of a long round. So that, that's pretty good. Um, you should always look. F you should always be mulliganing in round two and three. Almost always, unless your entire hand is gold. Uh, the most important cards you're going to be wanting in round two and round three, well, more so round three, hopefully you won round one and you're dry passing round two, is Scorch. 
you want that Scorch. The games that I've lost with this deck are the games that I don't find Scorch. Uh, they'll be in like the bottom two cards of my deck. Um, does that suck? Yeah, it sucks, but there's nothing you can do about it. We can't BSK and break the game and thin to zero every game. Uh, so every now and then you're not going to draw your win con and that kind of sucks, but yeah, whatever. It is what it is. So yeah, give the deck a try. I would definitely say this deck is better than the last two decks I put up on YouTube, which is surprising because this deck... I just threw together. Um, yeah, I really like this deck. It's a lot of fun. I love Elves, and Scorch has always been one of my favorite cards. And the fact that I can play Elves and Scorch in the same deck, and it's actually good, I mean, I couldn't be happier. So, really love this deck. I'm probably going to be playing this for, I mean, it might even be until the next patch. It's just a lot of fun. I, I highly suggest you give it a try if you like Scorch. And bonus... Uh, it helps for your faction challenge. There's a good amount of boost cards in here. So you'll slowly get points up for that too. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the deck and the uh, upcoming gameplay. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Why did you need to feel... Why did you feel the need to play Shiru round one instead of losing it and going for round three? Because then I lose on even and I lose 100% of the time. And losing on even is losing. You look like a medieval king? Really? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> Please don't suck me. Watching the woods grow. He's watching himself. Yeah, Please don't. Don't do it. Thank you. Slaughter them to a man. People say Ethne isn't so bad. I mean, compared to Philip Andrew and to Francesca, yeah, Ethne's not so bad. Because the other two suck. I no, I'll save this for Neckers. Well, we got a sad little BME over here, but that's okay. That's what he does best. No, don't do it. Don't suck me. My vanguards have a family. Blood and neck hands. I don't know. I keep making this play. I haven't decided if I like it. It plays so that I can play or counter Neckers later on, but we're losing one point. You piece of shit. Don't high roll. That's that's very rude. Peace with humans. I buy that. That's so rude. High rolling. None shall tread on us. Humans to the sea. We have pretty high tempo next turn. I am so Come for enough. Points. Okay, no joke, this is the best Isergrim I have ever pulled off. Ever. <laughs> That's how bad my average Isengrim is. It's not even that good, it's a 10. I think it's okay.
Kispar and Neff. They can hide, but there is no escape. Isengrim getting value. Dude, I'm so glad my last card is a one. Well, it's a two, I guess. Dude, this Skorka is so nice. <laughs> you fell for it. Oh, that's good. All right, good job, Pumpkin. All right, draw that card, please. Thank you. Yeah, Squirka. Dude, I love mind gaming with Scorch. It feels so good when it works. I did it earlier today and ended up winning me a game. All right, we could still lose. We have to draw these cards. No, we don't need this card. I guess we don't need- we just need this card. We need the gold card. As long as we draw Scorch, we're, we can win this. I, I know we're saying that and we're a card up, which, yeah, but, you know. Monsters has some pretty sizable cards. I need Scorch. I'll take Shearer too, but Scorch is more important. No. No. Don't do this to me. Not again. We have five cards left. Give me. Oh. I can breathe again. We survived. Oh. Oh, I want you to I eat it. Now we will see who is weak. <laughs> I'd be the best and last. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okie dokie. What do you want? Aha. I was like, we might have to call our Sharon, but he helped us out there. I don't mind doing this because we have Scorch in hand. Now is the time of the white frost and white light. I mean, what are the odds of this bricks? There's no way. He plays this card plus Ozzy for 15. I do not mix words. Oh, okay. Alrighty! It'd be a real shame if your last card was Ozrel. Wait, 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 what if it's not Scorch? <laughs> Why not Bork and Mandrake? Because Bork doesn't do the same thing as Scorch. Scorch can hit multiple units. Bork is limited to only hitting one unit. It's not old Bork like an old Gwen. Old Bork it doesn't exist anymore. It's, it, it's holy bricks. Are you shitting me? Wow, that's a first. I've been playing Homecoming for what, four months now? Whoa, okay. Holy bricks, Batman. I, wow, all right. Well, that's unfortunate. 
That's, uh, yeah, that's unlucky, to say the least. Jeez. <laughs> you drew the full so, combo? No one else dares face me. Your tricks will not save you, Duan. <laughs> Dude, we're so screwed. Oh, if we get out of this game, I don't I don't know. Holy shit. I've never seen that before. Don't teach your grandma to suck eggs. It's a good thing we have mulligans later. Get rid of all this garbage. Concede? Nah, don't concede. We can win this easily. You just don't lose. Isn't that how you're supposed to win most games in Gwent? As long as you don't lose, you can win, right? I think that's how it works. Yeah, I, I think that's how it works. Ow. All right, we're okay. We'll just fix our hand now. We have no other bricks in our deck. Winning faction gives you 50% XP for how long? I have no idea. I need Milan. That's really it. The Vanguard's okay. I can take two Mulligan because I have a brick in my deck. Oh wait, now I have Call. I don't need Milan. We can just call Arena. Um, I guess his hand's fine. This card's wrong because it's bad for Shiru and it's gives him a Regis suck target. Sure. I'll, I'll I'll go with that logic. I'm okay with that. Now is the time of the white frost and white night. Let us put our steel to the test. Ryan! Keep it alive. More elves, more value. Across the wide somber sea, I will sail. Now we will see who is weak. How can you go home if you're already home? Action challenge is unfair. Ocean Mud is busting his ass for a while, but we haven't seen Jagras. Don't you pester me. How is that unfair? I mean, you don't get like a massive disadvantage if your leader decides to play Gwen. Right? Right? I mean, what is he gonna do? Get like an extra couple points for his faction? Alright. I mean, it's nice. It, uh, every point counts, I guess, but does it really? Oh. Are you BDMing that? 
I'll smack it. Blood and neck ends. Similian Vart. Smack that. Humans to the sea! To the sea! We'll bring it down. What a Isengrim value. Are you being sarcastic or. I mean, it's decent value. It's not bad. I have not been looking for sure value. Dragon. I see Shiru! Masker Shiru. It should still come back out, right? I remember somebody had an angry Reddit thread about... I locked this Elrin and it still came out. Hey, Beauty Rage. We will take back what was stolen! I'm so very, very afraid. And the board disappears. Uh -huh. Whee! Wait, we won! We did it, chat! <laughs> the worst case opening head. We still won. You guys told me to surrender. Never give up. Never surrender.